Hey guys, how you doing? This is Manga Etc and I'm here to bring you the review for One Piece Manga Chapter 972, the chapter that rounds up the Odin flashback. So in this chapter, it's basically about Odin, the people of Wano finally, finally being won over through Shinobu's words. So now that they understand why Odin did what he did previously, why he was acting the fool, now they're back on the Odin hype train. Um, and now they are supporting him again, like telling him, Oh, and you can do it, just a little bit longer, blah 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 blah, all that good stuff. But at the end of the day, this is the day he dies. And now uh, he does go out like a champion, he takes the degrees up to 700. And it is mentioned later on within the chapter, as the chapter still going on, that, that uh, Rochi says, Yo. Why is he still alive? Turn this up even further. So even regardless of his Celsius or Fahrenheit, 700 degrees. Yeah, you, you should have been. You should have been dead a long time ago. But this is anime. This is manga. We can't put things on the realm of how we perceive it in the real world. You know, people are doing crazy tish high. It's so. Yeah. 700 degrees, you know, that's like, well, that's like, that's just, that's just, that's just, for an hour as well, it's, it's rushed up. but it seems like Odin knew he was going to die this day, I think he has a plan, I, mean, I think he's had a plan all this time, I know. And, this, and I think having this plan comes from what knowing what One Piece is, because within the chapter he does mention that, yo, it's because of the Kuzuzuki Kuz clan, why the borders of Wano have been closed, and he does mention that it was because of an, um, an exter it was a great external power is coming its way, or something like that, so you know, you know this links to One Piece, so that just gets me hyped to know even more what One Piece is. One Piece has been laughed at. In real world, in real life, it's been said to be something so beautiful that it makes someone cry. But we also know that there's an external power out there feared so much that somebody decided, job we need to close off our country. But at the same time, Odin knows what this is, but he's like, yup, we still need to open up these borders. <sighs> Excuse me. So, after his great speech, after he frees his samurai them, telling them to flee, he gets the standoff with Kaido. Now, he doesn't leave the boiling bath. But before Kaido puts a bullet in his head, he says, Yo, I don't care if these people forget about me. My soul will live on. And now there's a bit of redemption for Kaido because people are getting mad. People in the families are getting mad because that whole thing with the hag and he changed into a musque. And then Kaido got in the cheap shop. We found out that Kaido killed the hag. We see that as redemption, you know. Fair enough. I probably, I personally didn't have a problem with it. Anyway, because <laughs> at the end of the day, you know, they're pirates, they're not good world people, you know, cheap shots, you know, you'll get your cheap shots in, you know, like, was it, I can't remember who said it, but it was someone from Chance's crew, you know, we're not saints, not holy men, we're pirates, we will do the dirty, so yeah, but anyway, we also know that it was part of Odin's plan that if said he would die, you know, send the people them to the future, and we know that's what happens, and then, you know, give the swords to the kiddies. So, we know that Odin had this all planned from the get-go. So, the end of the chapter does make it seem like, you know, we're going to go back to present day, but I feel like there should be one more chapter of this flashback just to see them go into the future. But, yeah. Not really necess necessity. But that's everything that happened in this chapter. I'm going to give it a three star review. I mean, rating. Odin went out like a mouse, you know, surviving 700 degrees, but he does, he, he does die to the bullet. <laughs> to the
to the head. But anyway, regardless of all that, he did go out like a boss, like a champion, winning over the people, even though he doesn't officially become the Shogun, you know, he died the Shogun of one. Like, always guys, I'm asking for your thoughts and opinions. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. But most importantly, take care, have a nice day.